Dave Roberts now available. Please use the raise your hand icon if you have a question. First question from Dave Vassay. Go ahead, Dave. Hi, Dave. Just getting an update on Justin Turner. How's his leg feeling today? Still some uh, swelling, some bruising, um, but a uh, little bit of improvement. Um, could play, but we're just choosing to give him today uh, so we can have two days, and I expect him back in there on Tuesday. It's his right leg, correct? It's his, uh, I think it's his left, Dave. Uh, it's his left back hamstring of his left. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I, I, I like the jersey you're wearing today. So you chose 24 over eight. Is there a reason why? No, no reason why. Uh, it, this was actually, we're all rocking him, uh, representing Kobe on his birthday. Um, so this was in my office. So I, I definitely love the 24 though. What, what do you think his legacy represents in this city, Dave? Um, Tenacity, consistency, um, winning, um, just just to compete, uh, and doing things the right way, and really uh, looking out and really being a servant to so many people in Los Angeles and greater Los Angeles. When you were playing for the Dodgers, did you ever, were you on the team when he threw out that first pitch? I was. I, I think I was, yeah. I, I remember seeing him at the ballpark when he first uh, uh, came to Los Angeles. Thank you. Yep. Next question from Tim Neverett. Go ahead, Tim. Hi, Dave. How are you doing? Doing well, Tim. Don't get to see you much because I have to be upstairs. So <laughs> I'll ask you a little bit about just, uh, last night just to wrap that up. How awkward is it that you have to think about other things aside from celebrating a home run uh, you know, in terms of making sure guys are staying far enough away from each other? Um, it, it is. It's different. Um, I, it was, yeah, it was really, it was really interesting. And I, I think that it's hard because when you're playing, you're competing and you're celebrating. Um, but we always still have to be mindful that so many people are watching us and, following our, our lead as far as Major League Baseball. So to just that balance of kind of enjoying the moment, but still understanding what's really going on, important things that are happening outside of a baseball game. So it was just really awkward, but happy for Kobe, or Cody and the guys. And uh, Will Smith act today. Uh, what did he have to do uh, to get himself ready to be activated today? He, he did it all, uh, him and the training staff just passed all the markers and 
doing some simulated stuff at the offsite uh, facility at SC. So taking at bats, catching ga- catching a game, running, recovery, um, all that stuff. So uh, I, I feel really confident to have him back in there. And uh, JT getting the day. I know he got hit in the back of the leg last night. Uh, you were thinking maybe DH him today, but get him a day off ahead of the uh, scheduled day off? Yeah, that's what it is. I don't recall if it was his right or left hamstring, um, but I saw the bruise last night. So uh, just to kind of get ahead of it, stay ahead of it, not let it get any worse, um, giving him this day game after night game and then tomorrow's off. And then so, you know, I expect, expect to be back in there on Tuesday, though. And with Ross, uh, what do you think he learned from his last outing and what do you look for out of strip today against this Rockies lineup? I think it's just more of just using his entire mix more often. I think uh, that's one thing, and just commanding the fastball. Uh, Ross is a guy that has really good command, has four different pitches, but if you're not kind of mixing well and the fastball's elevated in a big part of the plate, um, that's just a tough way to go about things. So um, I expect him to have a good one today. Just one more for me, kind of a sign of the times question again. This is – going to be the halfway mark at the end of this game of this season. It's also the beginning of the stretch run uh, simultaneously. Can you put into perspective how fast the first half of the season has gone by? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to put it into perspective, to be quite honest. Um, We're just at the end of a 17-day stretch where um, typically it would be kind of on fumes. But right now, I think we all feel really good. Looking forward to tomorrow, but Thinking, yeah, we're at the halfway point, and the and the half and the half is only another thirty games, so um, not 80, 81 games. So uh, it snuck up on us. We got the trade deadline coming up, which uh, isn't a lot of conversation in the clubhouse, which it normally is. So just a, just an odd year, but still a lot of fun. All right, thanks, Dave. Yep. Got another question from Dave Alcego, Dave. Hey, Dave. In normal years, going into September you would be balancing keeping guys healthy with the long term in sight with only 30 games to go in this short season. Do you still have to find that balance? How do you treat the last 30 games? Um, I think the last 30 games is more of trying to identify the, the roles, the roster, winning baseball games. Um, but there's, we have more off days coming up in September, so that's a good thing as far as managing workload. Um, but on the position player side, the DH has really helped that. And on the pitching side, I think we've done a very good job inserting that six starter at times. Now we got the off days and then the guys in the pen um, doing, doing a really nice job of managing them as well. When you looked at the schedule, did you guys identify this stretch of 17 in a row as – maybe the most challenging part of the schedule for you? Yeah, this was, this was it. Um, just the short ramp up and then you play and then you've got the 17 days in a row and how you're going to navigate that. So this was something that entering the starter made sense. You know, having guys down in the bullpen on a given night made sense um, and taking care of the position players. So this is something now with the off days, uh, we should be in a pretty good spot. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Thanks guys. Dave.